call Yakov action with respect to the metric bird sheet metric H alpha beta by keeping delta x nu fixed, right? And then we had obtained the uh, energy momentum times, okay? And its equation of motion that T alpha beta was zero, okay? And we will get back to it again. In the meantime, now if we have made use of this uh, conformal gauge fixing, in fact, in this we have not only conformal gauge fixing, we have made use of all the three gauge symmetries of the theory. We have used, so when we say this is the action under conformal gauge is very loose statement, correctly speaking or rigorously speaking, we have made use of all the three gauge symmetries of the theory. Uh, I forgot to close this, let me, uh, today we have missed on lambda, right? Uh, never mind. Uh, so, okay, now we like to play with this, so uh, let me try to make a space here. Okay, so uh, we take it as uh, equals to C by two. Uh, okay, this is. Did I remove the last step here? Uh, let me write it in that same ordering here. This was, this is what we obtained, this is equal to minus T by 2 D2 sigma into minus X dot square plus X prime square and now I can take this minus sign in inside the bracket and therefore this is T by 2 and Here, I just like it's a small point, but still let me uh, re emphasize this little point also that uh, this minus sign keeps hanging there all the time. And when we see it in this simplified form, you see this is eventually going to the kinetic energy term for all the x mu fields. x dot is square, it's x mu dot, x mu dot. So, mu is taking the value 0, 1, 2 up to capital D, the dimensions of the space-time manifold, which for the bosonic string is 26. Okay. So, the kinet kinetic energy has to be positive so that the field is not a host field. Okay. So, here we see that, oh yes, the kinetic energy is indeed positive. So, this minus sign when taken inside, it gives you the current sign for the kinetic energy of the various fields. Okay. Very good. So, uh, okay. Now, let us uh, again make use of the radiational principle. So, what I do is, we study, we set to zero the variation of S, but now, delta x mu, we want to vary the action with respect to x mu, okay. We have not done that yet. So, we, here, this is non-zero, okay. And what you get in the term is the following, T by 2 and D to sigma and we are doing it here, so twice x dot delta x dot minus twice x prime delta x prime and this is in fact x mu dot delta x mu dot minus twice 
x prime u because uh, sometimes we could suppress. So this actually means a, a product of the mu is here and mu is here and mu is here and mu is here. So <coughs> this is what we get and 2 gets cancelled everywhere. And now we want to study this in more details. And this would really bring us to the question of open strings and closed strings. Because now what we are doing is exactly we are uh, studying going to, to uh, derive the equations of motion for this action. And the, the other equations of motion that we obtained T alpha beta equal to 0, we will again work them out in the component form, okay, like T0, 0, T0, 1, T1, 1. one and t10. So they would work as the constraints on this theory in addition to these equations of motion. Alright. Oh, okay. So now <coughs> let me call this split it into split it into uh, two parts. Let me call it integral one plus integral two. And so uh, let me let me Try to make a space here. Can I remove some of this? Yes. Okay. So uh, here I can say one. Uh, let me remove. Let me so is C about to go the way d2 sigma into x dot into delta mu x dot minus prime mu delta x prime mu and we I want to write it as 2 I want to consider them into 2 so that we consider this term is the I1 and this term is the I2 to be able to to catch uh, uh, precisely everything. All right. So now I1 is the T times. Let me now write it as. Uh, D, D sigma D tau or D tau D sigma times X mu dot delta X mu dot and this I can write as T D tau D sigma into X mu dot this I could write as delta of delta of x mu x mu dot I have written as delta of x mu and now these are two infinite decimal operations I would like to interchange them okay and so I can I can write it as t d tau d sigma into x mu dot into delta of delta x mu. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to integrate this with respect to tau. I I want to keep I want to carry out integration with respect to time, okay. with respect to tau, the eigen time, and I do it by parts, integration by parts. So, uh, uh, 
let me treat this as first function and let me treat it as a second function. So, oh, yeah, 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 very good. So, now we integrate this with respect to tau. So, first function, what I do is integration by part first function into integral of second minus integral of differential of first into integral of second that is what I learnt in my first year okay so integration by parts product of two functions you have to consider one as first and second first into integral of second minus integral of differential of first into integral of second so uh, first function is x mu dot into integral of and here the integration is with respect to tau so with tau uh, integral of second second h uh, delta tau delta x mu uh, okay first function is integral of second minus integral of differential of first and so this is with respect to tau so x mu double dot in differential of first into integral of 